happy Tuesday. I just got out of the shower because I went to the gym today, so I'm feeling pretty good. I wanted to let you guys know that I filmed a video with Kin. It's called Home Is, and it's basically me talking about what home means to me, talking about my childhood, my upbringing. So if you guys are interested in watching that, feel free to click here or click the description box because I'll leave the link down there too. Today is pretty jam-packed. I'm shooting with my friend Silas, who owns the brand Team Cozy, so I'm gonna be rocking a bunch of his stuff. I gotta eat this pretty fast because I gotta get ready. I'm starting from scratch, wet hair and everything, so I'm gonna eat this as fast as I can. Location. We are shooting at the Walt Disney Concert Hall. We always like to go to the back because that's where all the beautifulness is. There's sculptures. I see a lot of people getting their engagement pictures here, so. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. Morning. Today is a bizarre and devastating day. It looks like Trump is the president of the United States. I know I never talk about politics on my channel. I never talk about my spiritual beliefs, but I thought that I should say something about this at least. I feel like this election has been kind of a wake up call for me. If I'm going to be completely truthful, I haven't been very involved in watching this political space with all the elections. Like, it just felt like a clown show. And obviously, I didn't want Trump to win, but I mean, it wasn't enough for me to go out and register to vote. And I'm really embarrassed to say that. But for those who didn't vote like me, but are not happy with the results, this is a wake up call for us. We can't continue to be apathetic with what's going on in the political space because four years is a long time. I'm just filming this so I don't forget how I felt. I'm telling you guys so you guys can keep me accountable. I guess my excuse was that I knew that California was going to be a Democrat anyway, like we always are. We always vote left. So I knew that our state was good. But what if I was living in Florida or another swing state? But I shouldn't do all these what if situations because that's not the point. Uh, the point is that if you didn't vote this year and you're unhappy with the way things came out, you gotta remember this feeling and we gotta vote in the next four years. So despite all the drama that's going on, I still had to get ready for my day. Uh, I know a lot of activities feel a little secondary, especially after the news, but the show must go on. I have a shoot with Coram, which is an Asian American publication. I'm gonna be in their December issue, so I'm very excited about that. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> What's up guys? Here I am at the Line Hotel. I'm doing my core shoot. Uh, this is one of the first looks. We're doing four looks today. I already smashed out my interview. Uh, so we're off to a good start. Hello. <laughs> this is the third look. Kind of like a fishnet maxi dress. Yeah. Chilling on the bed. Alrighty guys, that's a wrap on the shoot. Thanks everyone! Yay! Yay. Good morning everyone, it is Thursday. Uh, ben actually went off to New York this morning at 7 a.m. He's seeing his best friend from England and they're meeting in New York. Uh, I am dog sitting Mochi right now because Ashley had a pop out for a lunch meeting. And so Cheeky's so happy to have her big sister. Literally, Cheeky loves Mochi so much. She's like the annoying little sister, always trying to tag along. Oh, hi Cheeky Bear. But anyway, today is just gonna be a solid day of editing. I really have to get this Gen Vember episode number one out. Uh, okay, so I've literally just been editing all day. Um, I got ready, but didn't really film that. Uh, I'm actually going to Revolve's Winter Formal later. I wanted to share with you guys some really exciting news. So I shot with Local Wolves back in September and the issue is finally out. I'm on their November cover and here's what it looks like. So here is the cover. I'm on the Girl Power issue. And so my thing starts on page 52. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go ahead and read it. I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. Here we are at the second annual Winter Formal by Revolve. I'm with Silas. Hi. And my girl. <laughs> Hi. Soph and M. Hi. As you know, Ben is in New York. I he would have been my so date, sad. but Emily will suffice. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Emily's the best date. <laughs> she was thinking about getting me a corsage, but I was. I mean, is I there anything late. on here? <laughs> this is bigger than last year. There's a huge dance floor. We got all my girls here. Oh hey! Oh hey! It is a good night. Oh, we're taking the crown. The V is back. It is the morning after and surprisingly I'm not hungover. I'm just really tired because Oh my gosh, she's going pee. Good girl. Good girl, Cheeky. My little girl just voluntarily peed in her pad again. It's always very exciting when I see that puddle on this pad. You're such a good girl, Cheeky. Thank you for peeing in your pad. Oh, good girl. All right, so where were we? Finally uploaded the first episode of Jen Benber on the channel, feeling good. Uh, my mom has the day off of work today because it's Veterans Day, so I'm gonna go hang out with her, bring Cheeky with me. So, oh, we can take Cheeky on our first walk, actually. That should be really exciting. Check out that lens flare on the corner. Okay, first off, I know I should get Chicky a car seat. That's the next thing I need to do. I don't know why I'm wearing such a vampy look just to see my parents. It was supposed to just be like a, what's it called? Just like a fresh face dewy look. And then what I thought was just gonna be like a, a nude is actually like a dark brown. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a, a dark mauve. But I like it. I think it looks good is not what I was expecting. <laughs> also, for those who are wondering what's on my nails, I really wish I had like a specific nail varnish that I can tell you. I actually got this done at a salon and they used this really cool like chrome dust thing and they applied it that way so I have no idea what color it is. Made it to my parents house. Got my big bro James in the mix. This is what is for dinner. We've got tak bokumtang and then this is kimchi kuk. So just kimchi soup. So what do you have to try then? Uh, I don't know. I like went out yesterday, so I'm just kind of in the mood to chill. But I feel like because it's Friday, I feel like you need to do something. Yeah, like a slight obligation to go. But I don't know. Right. I wouldn't feel that way. Really? Yeah, like today, I don't feel. I don't even care. I just want to stay home. That's so. I guess because like I'm vlogging, I feel like I should do something. Mildly entertaining as well, mm -hmm. but I mean, I know you guys don't care, you know, if I just say no one would care. Mmm, mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, the one Mmm. Chiki, are you enjoying your walk? <laughs> oh, Chiki. Oh. Chiki chiki. Back at home now, it was so awesome getting to see my mom, my brother, and it was so great walking Chiki for the first time. She was such a good girl. It's so cute seeing how unsure she was about different surfaces like the grass. We walked for at least a good like mile, over a mile, and she wouldn't pee or poo. And I think it's because she's not used to being outside yet. So right when we got back indoors, Chiki peed and pooed on my mom's floor. So. <laughs> that kind of sucked. We're gonna figure it out though. I mean, I think it's because she's only known how to use this pee pad in this specific area. She doesn't even know how to use the pee pad at my parents' house yet. So we'll get there. She's only a pup. It's 8 o'clock. I'm just transcribing Jen Venber episode 1. I feel like I always do this whenever I feel kind of restless, but I wanna, I don't wanna work, but I don't wanna do nothing. So I just end up writing captions for my videos, which I think is, I don't know. Is it counterproductive? I don't know. Does anyone even turn on the subtitles for YouTube? If you do, let me know. Write in the comments down. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution makes it unconstitutional for someone to be held as a slave. protesters outside my building. This is insane. It's for the anti-Donald Trump protest going on and yesterday I saw this documentary called The 13th and it basically describes 
how slavery still exists today but through the prison system and it's being protected by the 13th amendment. If you haven't seen this documentary on Netflix, you have to because this is my first time hearing about something like this and I'm sure a lot of people are in the dark like I am. I feel like it's so relevant to watch it, especially at a, t a critical time like this. Once again, I didn't think I was going to get so political, but I mean, there's stuff happening right outside my window and it's it's not right not to make any commentary about it. And I'm so proud of these people walking on the streets. It's everywhere we go! Everywhere we go! People want to know! People want to know! is the Donald Trump protest and it's growing by storm. I think we're walking to City Hall. Um, this is crazy. Look. Chiki and I are out on the road. That protest was amazing. That entire time I was walking, I had freaking chills. We're going to the pet shop to get her groomed and we'll see how she turns out. Okay, this is Chiki's before. Oh my god. Cheeky, sit. This is not a treat. Giant ball of fluff. Okay, so this is Cheeky after she's been to the groomer. This is a full body turn. Oh my god, look how tiny she actually is. My little rat. <laughs> okay. Good girl. on today other than editing. The last night was so much fun. I really got to catch up with some core people in my life. First, I got to see Brienne. She, I've known her since first grade and we went to school up until I transferred um, to UC Davis. So we go way back um, and Ostrich Farms was delicious. Uh, highly, highly recommend you go there. And then after I met up with Claire and Steph and we basically hung out in her new loft and we just talked for a solid four hours and it was just amazing getting to catch up. Those types of friends are ones that when you see them, it's like nothing has changed and I think that's what true friendship is. It's not like always feeling heckled to text them see if they're alright. It's just a common understanding that like I'm here for you whenever you need me and when we do get together, it's just an amazing bond. I had a really good weekend. I think it's important that I know how to spend my time without Ben as well. I was proactive and made my own plans. I reached out to people. It was a good feeling, very rewarding. Uh, but today, a day of isolation. I'm just gonna edit and I'm excited. I'm like, I don't know, I fucking love working. This is a good outlet for me. But yes, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do uh, join the family. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Mwah.